it's Wendy Murdoch here and I'm with Sharon Wilsey and we met here at Equitana and it's been a fabulous connection and it's such a synergy between the two of us. So I'm gonna let Sharon talk a little bit about what she was seeing with the pads because she was in the arenas with me. It was really great. I just drag her in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Sharon, kind of tell me a little bit about what you're seeing when the horse was on the pads. So what I'm loving, I'm loving the pads because it really helps the horses come to uh, what I call self-regulation where in my work with communicating with horses, I'm trying to help them um, calm, come to a, a deep state of calm on the inside by communicating with them. But uh, in addition to using these pads, it's going to be fantastic because the pads are helping the horses um, go in, into an internal state and find kind of what's missing and then ask, they start asking for new pads or for a higher pad or a lower pad or I need to walk it off now. And it was just astounding to watch the horses um, respond so well. And then I had to stand on some pads because I was like, my back is killing me. So uh, they work great for humans. I stood on a pad for a minute and I went, oh, my left hip is, oh, that's why my back hurts. You know, so it is astounding that just standing on these pads gives your um, your brain so much information and, and almost beside yourself you start to regulate and, and come back to a state of balance and watching the horses basically heal themselves and I think this is a wonderful addition to you know any horseman's uh, toolkit and it was so great because Sharon can put a vocabulary around Surefoot and that's the thing is I've been seeing all this stuff for years but I haven't been able to really uh, give it the kind of definition and the vocabulary that Sharon can do so she wraps this like visual vocabulary with words and meaning around what the horses are going through when they're standing on the surefoot pads. Yeah. So it's just been so fantastic because it's such a, 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 a gift for her to be able to say it and explain it to people so they can understand what I've been seeing. Because like she said, I've been seeing it and responding to it. And people say, well, how do you know what pad to use or what to do? And I'm like, well, I just watch and I listen. And But right. you know, this gives, gives a lot more definition and it makes it a lot easier for you guys to understand. So I'm working on sharing the ideas that we do something together, yeah. like a webinar series or something, where yeah. you guys can get the basics of horse speak in relation to surefoot pads, and it just makes it so much deeper and so much better for everybody. You know what was really fun, Wendy, was uh, I'd be looking at a horse, and, and the horse communicated very clearly with his body language, I'm ready for a different pad, and I'm looking at Wendy to say he's ready for a different pad, she's already doing it. <laughs> she's already doing it. So I think that... Um, when, when you do this kind of intensive work with horses, a lot of times your intuition is kicking in. But to know what's happening specifically, so you could say, ah, oh, he's talking about his left shoulder blade, or oh, he's communicating about, yeah, I have some pent up feelings there, or I, whatever. So I think to, to see what the horse is saying as they step on the pads, it would be so much more um, enlightening yeah. for owners to feel like, oh, I can communicate with my horse as they do this, instead of I'm just kind of looking, going, seems like he's swaying, that seems good, yeah. you know, and why are they swaying, when are they swaying? Yeah, we, the swaying the is swaying like something is a, everybody wants to know about, and I really can't explain it, I yeah, just keep seeing it over unifying and over. the two hemispheres of the brain, so, you know, going back and forth, changing balance from one side to the other, one hemisphere, the other hemisphere, one hem and so at some point, they kind of, they oh, look, we've neutral. got the horse's nose right behind us. Hello. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Brad, Sharon's from Vermont, so of course it's another Vermonter, which is great because I see that Brad kicked in here. Yeah. So, so stay tuned. We'll be doing a lot of stuff. We'll be heading, I'm heading home on the 28th. You're going home sooner. Uh, yeah. And um, you're going to be in Pennsylvania next month. Next month. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm going to have something at CRK training in Pennsylvania, so maybe we can even figure oh, that we'll, out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've already told Callie about you, so we're going to get something hooked up. Perfect. All right, so live from Equitana. It's almost over day nine. Uh, bye. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you.